Hi there, good people of the internet. Uh, today, I haven't done a, a video for a while, and I recently got this kit, which uh, I thought I'd do a little inbox review. The Zvezda um, IL um, 76MD, which is uh, new tooling brand new, uh, only come out this year, and I've been waiting for this, as soon as I heard this was coming out, I had this on order, um, from a guy in, from a guy in Latvia, I live in Australia, and I uh, got this from Latvia, and, uh, yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it, it really did go through the mill. Luckily, it was tough, and it's uh, internally packed very, very well. But a bit more about the kit. It's uh, one one forty four, and apparently, it's their new ultimate kit, which is, according to them, a brand new product in the world of modelling. <laughs> I've had a look at it. I don't. I don't see how, but apparently, it is. Uh, maybe when I'm building it, I'll agree. It uh, comes with 207 individual parts, and it is 32 centimeters in length. Now, it's not huge. Uh, when I actually got the box, I thought it was going to be bigger, but it's not. It's not really that big at all. If I put, uh, say, for reference, what have I got here? There we go. It, it, it's It's not... It's not particularly huge. This is a 135th scale uh, Volkswagen Beetle. It, it's not big at all. Uh, you can easily display this, and it looks like a beautiful kit. So this is the outer packaging that it uh, comes in, uh, which has got some beautiful box art. Uh, these guys are getting better all the time. These to be very hit and miss. They're early stuff you wouldn't touch with a barge pole, but uh, this is pretty good. Now, this was inside the outer sleeve, so this bore the brunt of the, uh, the shipping. And if we have a look inside, it's actually pretty cool. I actually, I'm really looking forward to making this. Now, we've got the clear parts. So the clear parts are obviously for underneath the nose and the cockpit uh, glass. I'm not looking forward to masking these at all. You can just about see, these things are tiny. There's my thumb. They're tiny. They're gonna be a pig to mask. So I might even splash out on a, a an Edward kit to, uh, to mask them. The instructions look great. As you can see, you've got three options. You've got, uh, on the ground, the cargo doors down at the back, flaps down, whatever. You've got a stand which they include, which is in flight, obviously, and then maybe the takeoff landing variation on the stand, which are uh, pretty exciting, great way to display. Uh, kits instructions pretty comprehensive. Uh, one thing I did notice uh, when uh, I was perusing. The instructions was uh, you've got all this cockpit detail that you're never going to see, but you know it's always the way. Um, one thing I did notice is that during construction, you construct the inner hull with the cargo area, and then you've got the outer fuselages that will go together. So you'll get some beautiful detail um, in the inner hull cargo section. Now, I don't know if there's any companies out there doing aftermarket PE or anything yet. Uh, I hope so, because it would really um, lift it with a bit of exterior PE. Um, in the box, lots of fiddly, fiddly bits. Uh, obviously, for the flaps, wheels, all that wing stuff and everything. One thing that um, struck me... Um, Beautiful engines there. They're all beautifully. Uh, I can't see any flash. I can't see any flash on these. They all appear beautifully molded. One thing that worried me when I first opened it was that the panel lines are so fine. 
I actually thought they were raised panel lines when I um, first opened it and my heart sank because I thought well this is a 2017 tool it shouldn't be raised panel lines but it's it's not raised panel lines it is recessed panel lines they're just so fine obviously being the scale that it is um, but they have captured an amazing amount of detail there. Um, they they really have done a great, great job. And even if we have a look, um, even if we have a look, I haven't got the luxury of a tripod for my camera phone. So even if we have a look, uh, I believe this is the cargo area. So the cargo floor pretty nicely detailed and this is the uh, underside where I believe on here you can put something for the stand that'll be the section center section on the underside and again just really nicely detailed well done well done those uh, crazy Russians have done a great job and see it's just for for one one forty four scale they really have knocked it out of the park so again this is my computer screen that I use in the man cave it's uh I think it's a fifteen inch model. I don't know what it is it's small but look it's it, it's not that big really you'll easily be able to display this. It's not going to upset anybody displaying that, i.e. the wife. Uh, the wings I love as well. These obviously sit along the top of the fuselage uh, beautifully. Um, I can't comment on fit because obviously I haven't made it. So uh, I might have a different opinion. But again, all that beautiful detail. They've, they've missed nothing. They really have missed nothing. That is just sensational. Well done. Okay. Uh, the underside of the wing. All the bells and whistles. Again, all the room for the slats, the flaps, which can be in the up or down positions, like the uh, rear cargo door. So you can configure it to a landing position, an unloading position, a flight position, whatever floats your boat, you can do that. It's completely up to you. Um, not really much more to show you. Some bits and bobs here. So these are obviously, I presume, from the underside. Now, I was, I was wondering about that little do hickey there and um, what it is is at the front of the plane here you have a door and when that doors open uh, just above the door you will see that detail and I thought that was a bloody nice touch that's uh, so when the doors open you're gonna see some of the the detail here if you choose to have the door open uh, which I think is uh, just very very nice touch very very well thought out whoever designed this kit has obviously or the team that has designed this kit has put a lot of thought into this uh, which is really really nice to see from an Eastern European manufacturer uh, now the only thing in this box before I go any further, this is the stand, which should pimp up um, should pimp up quite nicely. This is our stand here, yeah, yeah, that, uh, which I think will display it pretty well. Obviously, we'll display it at an angle. The only thing that concerns me about this kit, and hopefully my fears are unwarranted, are these um, 
decals I'm, I'm really not they they don't particularly look like great quality i hope i'm wrong i i really do um we we shall see we shall see how they go um they obviously have not been produced by cardiograph um i don't know First thing we can do is try them and see how we go. I just, just hope it doesn't mean that I wreck a kit like I did with um, the Bell. The Bell X1, which I did an absolutely beautiful job on building, painting, and then the decals failed on me. Yeah, you can go there. So... That's my unboxing review of the IL76MD. I uh, hope you guys have uh, enjoyed it and um, happy styrene snapping. Take care, guys.